Hello, stampers. Welcome to Stamping with Mary. Uh, the new mini catalog, January to April 2023, has just come out. And the first thing that caught my eye was this Spring Blessings on page 19. I just love the, the light, fun look of it. And what came to mind to me was to make a little book. And my granddaughter absolutely loves stapling together pieces of paper and writing stories. And so I thought this is something I can make for her and send to her. This is how the set looks. It's got nice little, all kinds of fun things on it. Uh, you could also use On the Farm to make a cute little book or Silly Goose. So I'm going to do those next. But right now, I'm going to show you how I made my little book. And you might want to make one as well. Uh, so just using watercolors. Um, watercolor pencils and tying it together like this uh, very simple and I'll show you how I braided the edge in just a little bit the one I did for my granddaughter let me see where it is um, I just did like this and of course I left the pages I let me let her do the coloring herself and she'll have a lot of fun doing that and probably give her a little bit of washi glittery washi tape to go with it as well as some jewels and some pencils so that'll be a fun project for her and let me show you this little trick which i'm sure you may have already seen but uh, this one this set lends itself well to that i can see where my magnet has gone to things are never where you want them to be are they anyway let's try without it see if i can very carefully get it done so I've made this little, here's my grid paper to do my six and a half by four outline. And uh, you see this, this one in particular, the little flowers are about two inches each. So perfect for this. So if I just get it down, make sure I've got the right side down. <laughs> I've been known to make that mistake before. Then I'll bring it right to the edge. And let's see how slick this is. Let's see how well I can do without a, a magnet to hold my paper in place. Okay, that's one. And then just lift my plate over two. Make it again. Let's see how that fits. It's going to fit just perfect. You might want to put a little tassel in between there or something. I've got so many fun things in this set. There's some little extra flowers. So there you go. How easy is that? So I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to show you how I put, the, put it together, which is really the tri trickiest part. <laughs> um, let's see what it looks like here. Okay. So you've got to make your little holes. You can see it here. What I did was I used some, some of our plastic window pane paper or any kind of little plastic. And every, I cut my holes, you see, so that they would be, let's see, how did I do it? Every inch. So I made my, used my hole punch and used that. And then I use that as my grid. I put some black marker around there so you could see a little better what I was doing. I don't know if it helped or not, but you see, so then I can just color in where the punches are going to go. And then use a hole punch to punch it. So let's put together a few pages here just to show you how my braiding goes, if I can remember. This is really a little tricky, so bear with me. Okay, I'm going to start here. I'm using red this time. Hopefully, you can see it pretty easily. And then I want to loop it around. This part will maybe tie up a little more, a little better later. 
so just get it out of the way for now. And down here. Here's the little trick I want to show you. Is, oops, gotta have about four hands and a few less fingers to do this. Okay, so this one here, so it's gonna go up over through here and then that'll go down to the next spot. Make a little binding through here. Over here. See how that's coming together now? Through from the outside. And you can do it with just poking it through your ribbon, but it does help to have a darning needle and uh, it seems to slip in pretty easily. So underneath and over. And now what we could do is slide this up through the back and just tie it to hold it in place. This is something you might want to just play with and come up with your own <laughs> fancy way, but I, I thought this worked all right. So I'm going to come through Get up here. And then I'll just tie it off. So there you go. Just plus with it a little bit. And that makes kind of a fun little edging. And you can see I know you did a little better job on this one. Or on this one I doubled it up and used, I didn't think the one braiding was enough, so I used two of them. So there you are. I hope you'll try this. It's kind of fun to play with. Thanks for coming. Bye.